Since the dawn of time, mankind has created an impressive body of work, constantly building, evolving, improving, and perfecting. And as time marches on, so too is technology, progressing at a dizzying rate. And now, as we hurtle headlong into the next millennium, a new age has dawned. The age of information, of digital convergence, instant access, fiber optics, microchips, and megabytes. Technology is moving at the speed of light. Faxes, phones, computers, cyberspace. Everything is interactive. The internet, multimedia, television, movies, music, games, CD-ROM. Where is it all heading? How do we make it better? Welcome to an exciting new way to view entertainment. First, there was the black and white television. Then, color revolutionized the way we looked at the TV. But over the last 30 years, very little has changed in the television. Sure, we've been consistently improving the way it looks, but there's been no revolution in TV technology. Until now. Philips brings you the flat TV. Gone are those big boxes that take up so much space in your house. Now you can hang something the size of a picture frame on the wall and greatly enhance your entertainment experience. The flat TV is a 42-inch display that is only about four and a half inches deep. Imagine all the possible places you can display this TV. The picture is sharp and amazing. With a viewing angle of 160 degrees, there's no sweet spot that only a few people can sit in front of. Now everyone in the home can view the image clearly and distortion free. The flat TV is also made to show movies in their original size. The screen is a widescreen with an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. But the television is capable of multiple aspects. Let me show you what I mean. Here is an image in standard 4x3 mode. Notice that the image is placed perfectly in the center of the television. Watch as the image is expanded to 14 by 9. Notice that the whole image is on the screen and has a border around it. Here is 16 by 9. Now a slightly larger 16 by 9. In this mode, we can raise the picture up or down. We can go to super wide or just widescreen. All of these settings exist because not all videos are recorded in the same formats. Flat TV allows you to choose the format that's best for you. But for simplicity's sake, you may want to tell your customers to use the auto format setting. This setting will automatically choose the best viewing size. How many times have you had customers ask about the black bars that show during letterbox films? Most customers are not familiar with the concept of letterboxing. Flat TV allows for letterbox films to be blown up and shown in the proper proportions without the black bands that other TVs would show. When you explain to customers that a normal movie has to be cut to fit into a conventional television, they seem surprised. Now you can pique customers' curiosities by telling them that widescreen televisions allow for them to view the whole image. Now that you know a little bit about the flat TV, let's take a moment to look at the company who brings you this exciting technology. Philips, a global leader in digital technology and the driving force behind audio, video, and interactive compact discs, is the one partner you can trust in the digital revolution. Because Philips has the power, the experience, and the technical expertise to make your world better. Philips lives in the world of high technology. Philips is among the 10 largest designers and suppliers of semiconductors and among the top three consumer electronics manufacturers on the planet. A high technology giant with annual sales of more than $40 billion. Philips illuminates your world. Philips is the world's largest lighting company, providing most of the light by which mankind sees. Philips entertains your world. Philips is the number one name in color television and picture tubes worldwide and the majority owner of Polygram. Philips works in your world. Employing more than 250,000 men and women in 60 countries with over 265 production facilities worldwide. Philips makes your world better. Having amassed over 10,000 patents, Philips is one of the world's leading developers of new technologies. We've already brought you such world revolutionizing products as the X-ray tube, the audio cassette, and compact disc. And now, Philips brings you Flat TV. Flat TV uses a revolutionary technology called Plasma. Plasma is actually a really simple technology when you think about it. There are over 1.2 million pockets of neon and xenon gas placed between two sheets of glass. Behind the gas pockets is a fine layer of phosphor. Electrodes are attached to each pocket of gas. The electrodes stimulate the gas, which makes the gas give off an ultraviolet light. The ultraviolet light moves back and hits the phosphor. Reacting to that ultraviolet light, the phosphor will give off a visible light. It is that light that you see when you watch flat TV. 
The benefits of plasma are numerous. Plasma allows for a lighter and much slimmer flat display. The resolution capabilities of normal televisions are blown away by flat TV. The resolution of flat TV is amazing, 852 by 480. The future high definition televisions will use plasma technology that flat TV brings to you. Flat TV is the future. Your customers that buy high-end televisions expect features and flat TV won't let them down. There's a very neat feature that allows you to strobe, scan, and photo finish. Let me show you. Open the bottom half of the remote. When you press this button, notice the menu on the bottom of the screen. Let's move over to strobe. Notice how the picture appears to have a slow motion effect. Now let's try photo finish. Notice there are 12 boxes that show you a series of still frames. Using this feature, particularly during sporting events, is a great way to analyze the action as it happens. To update the action, simply press the OK button again. The scan effect will fill the boxes with what's on the other channels. The nice thing about this is that you can watch what else is on without sacrificing what you see. The main image does not get clipped by the picture-in-picture -picture, like most televisions. As you probably realize, there are two tuners built into the TV for picture-in-picture, -picture, but not many TVs allow for the split-screen effect. Just hit this button and watch. The widescreen of flat TV allows for two large images that are easy to view. If you have customers that like sports and you show them this feature, watch out! With this button, you can freeze the image. This button allows you to swap the images. This button allows you to raise up your channels or lower your channels. Flat TV is designed for the world market. Here in the US, we use the NTSC standard that is also used in Canada and Japan. Flat TV allows for PAL and CCAM, which are used in other countries. You also have teletext and a world voltage transformer, which makes this truly an international TV. The flat TV has a very easy automatic installation. Just press these two buttons at the same time. Up comes the installation menu. Because this television is a multi-standard, you can choose the language and country of operation. After you do that, just select the automatic install and hit OK. The television will take a while to set up, but when it's finished, it will be automatically programmed with the proper channels. It will also retrieve channel information so you don't have to go in and program the channel names. The television will do that for you itself. You will have channel 0 through 99 automatically listed for you. Of course, there is a manual mode if you need to do this. The back of the electronic module of Flat TV allows for a multimedia hookup as well as three sets of inputs. Two of those AV inputs have both S-videos and composite hookups. The third set, while having composite inputs, also has a SCART connector, which is great if you're using PAL or CCAM. The front of the module has another multimedia input, an S-video input, and a standard set of AV inputs. You can get to these simply by pressing the channel up or down buttons or by pressing this button. Let's go through. Regular TV. Multimedia input. Input 1, input 2, input 3, and front input. Flat TV does have a set of audio output plugs if you wanted to use those, but the sound system that comes with it is superb. Let's look at the television closely. Along the sides and across the bottom, there are speakers, three tweeters, and six mid-range drivers. Notice also that the unit comes with this great subwoofer and these two surround sound speakers. Flat TV has a Dolby ProLogic audio system that delivers up to 120 watts RMS power through the 15 speakers. Now how many TVs do you know that come with a sound system like that? The remote control is also very unique. While the Flat TV remote is not a universal remote, it is a unified remote that will control selected Philips products. With the European design on the remote, it needs to be looked at closely. The first thing to be aware of is that you can turn the TV to a standby mode by hitting the big red button on the top right corner of the remote. This is not how you would turn the TV back on though. To turn it on, simply hit any of the command control buttons like channel up or volume. If you look here, this is where you would have your controls for your Philips DVD, VCR, or Laserdisc. Okay. 
Notice now that there are no menu buttons. The colored buttons on the remote activate different menus. If you hit the red button, you get the picture menu. Here you have your contrast, brightness, color, sharpness, tint, natural motion, and dynamic contrast controls. Just so that you know, natural motion is a setting that smooths out any flicker that the images might be broadcast with. To change any of these settings, just use the directional cursors and the OK button. Please note that unlike most televisions, the menu will not go away if left for a spell. To remove a menu, all you need to do is press the menu button again. The green button is your sound menu. Here, you can choose your volume, balance, graphic equalizer, sound style, loudness, speech, spatial, headphone, and your Dolby Pro Logic install settings. We'll talk about the Dolby Pro Logic install settings later. But let's go down to the graphic equalizer. Just slide down and then hit the OK button. Notice how easily we can adjust the graphic equalizer. How many TVs have a built-in equalizer? Okay, let's close this menu. And let's look at the yellow button. The yellow button is where we have our sleep timer, our child lock, general personal preferences, message, timers, and multimedia inputs. The last button that we'll talk about is the gray one. This button allows us to activate the Dolby Pro Logic install, so you don't have to go through any other menus. We have a test area, a volume, control, center, channel, balance, and rear volume settings. The last setting allows you to change the surround mode between Pro Logic, Dolby 3 Stereo, Hall, and Simple Stereo. We encourage you to familiarize yourself with these settings in your store. As you can see, the Flat TV is an exciting new TV. It's different from anything that you've ever sold in your stores before. Its size, or lack thereof, makes it truly a unique TV. The resolution is wonderful. It comes with a full audio system. It has tons of features, and it is the future now. True revolutions in technology don't happen often. Flat TV makes you part of the Philips digital revolution. Once people dreamed of owning that fabulous new invention called a TV. Then they dreamed of having a set that could actually show pictures in color. Now there's a dream for today's generation. Introducing Flat TV from Philips. A 42-inch screen that's incredibly only four and one-half inches thick. And like the other dreams, someday it too will be in everyone's living room. You're watching Sleepcore, Pleasant Dreams. The River Thames flows past the Houses of Parliament in this city. Nashville. Vince. What is London? That's right. Answer. Uh, this will make you healthy, wealthy, what is and oxygen? wise. Oh, will you please stop? It's oxygen. It's not oxygen. Yes, it no, is. No, no, no. It is not oxygen. <laughs> Look, Julie, do yourself a favor. Hook up web TV and play along at home. The questions are multiple choice, so you might actually get one right. Yeah, genius. Hey, Pam, you're not exactly a brain surgeon. Wow, welcome to the newest thing on television, Sega Channel. It's available now, and your cable company has it. It's the first interactive network providing video games on demand 24 hours a day. With Sega Channel, you play what you want, when you want, for as long as you want, for one low monthly price. Hi, I'm Eric Hastings, here to show you how to stop just watching TV and start playing it on Sega Channel. Now, you've heard about interactive TV before. Well, this, this is the real thing. Sega Channel gives you video games on demand, up to 50 different games a month. You'll be playing great games, all right at your fingertips. There's no way I could play all these games if it wasn't for Sega Channel. I think it's very economical, and it keeps my kids at home. There are more games than I've ever seen on Sega Channel. Test drives. You'll be playing video games that have just been released or soon to be released. These games are so new, it's like looking into the future. I like test drives because I can check out hot new games. Talk about value. You'll be playing up to 50 different video games a month for one low monthly price. And with Sega Channel, you'll have about $2,500 worth of video games right at your fingertips. It's very economical, especially with a household kids. 
I do anything except maybe sit my brother for Sega Channel. Convenient. With Sega Channel, you're right in your own home. Parents, you can order Sega Channel anytime by simply calling the number at the bottom of your screen. Oh, but right now, we are going to take you to Video Game Paradise. Oh, yeah! This is the ultimate Sega exhibit here at Epcot Ten Inventions in Orlando, Florida. Hi, I'm Phil Moore. Imagine living here, playing what you want, when you want, for as long as you want. Sound great? Well, guess what? You can. You can live it right in your own home. With Sega Channel, you get up to 50 different video games per month for one low monthly price. That's about uh, $2,500 worth of video games. You know how many lawns you got them all to get that? A whole bunch. But no, you get them 24 hours a day with Sega Channel. Value, variety, convenience. Sega Channel is where it's at. Hey, stop just watching TV. Start playing it. Sega Channel. I've always got something to do with my friends now that I've got Sega Channel. Sega Channel is something we can do with the kids. I mean, it really does bring the family together. There's no question about the value, variety, and convenience of Sega Channel. As a mom, what I really like is Sega Channel's parental lockout feature. The video game rating system is simple and easy to understand. Just five game categories. The ones that I want my kids to play, I just lock them out. I want control over what my kids are playing. And with Sega Channel, I have it. Sega Channel. Here's how it works. Take the Sega Channel adapter from your cable company and plug it into the Sega Genesis. Turn on the Sega Genesis and the TV. Up comes the Sega Channel screen. And then you get a menu of the game category. Pick your category. Pick your game. It downloads, and bingo, you've got it. Just in case you've got any questions, you can call up full instructions for every game on Sega Channel. Now I'm ready to play what I want, when I want, for as long as I want. All right, and there's even more features that can make anyone a great gamer. One of the neatest things about Sega Channel is the game help screen. There's one for each game. You get game description, controller functions, playing the game, the different levels, or my favorite, hints and tips, or you can browse the help files. Yes, value, variety, and convenience, and most of all, it's available now. Sega Channel, the first interactive network offering video games on demand 24 hours a day. Now you can play up to 50 different games a month, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year for one low monthly price. Parents, we've made it so easy. All you have to do is call the number on the bottom of your screen to order Sega Channel because it really is time to stop just watching TV and start playing. Today is the day you stop just watching TV and start playing. Welcome to Sega Channel. The only channel where you actually play video games. Sega Channel pumps 24 hours of brain-blistering, thumb-twitching Sega action into your home. Sega Channel. This isn't cable TV you watch, it's cable TV you play. Your Genesis is hooked up to about 50 games a month. The hottest games like Sonic and Knuckles, Earthworm Jim, a special version of Super Street Fighter 2, and more. You get tips on secret moves and hidden levels, and only Sega Channel lets you test drive the newest games before they come out. Play what you want, when you want, for as long as you want for one monthly fee. Sega Channel. Stop just watching TV. And now, recipe for repression. First, stir up fears about an uncertain future. Then, heat with accusations of obscenity. Make sure to silence artists and others whose views are controversial. Serve immediately. For our next course, government issue morality. It's a long way from Apple.
those far away places with a strange sounding name are calling, calling me. Going to China or maybe at me I'm as helpless as a kitten up a tree and I feel like I'm clinging to a cloud I can't understand I get misty just holding your Might be the sound of your hello That music I hear I get missing The moment you're near You can say That you're leading me on But that's just You notice how hopelessly I'm lost That's why I'm following you On my own Would I wander through this wonderland alone Never knowing my right foot from my left, my hat from my glove, I'm too misty and too much in love.
being so untrue Well, you can cry me a river Cry me a river I cried a river over you You drove me, nearly drove me Out of my head While you never shed a tear You're watching Sleepcore, media for insomnia. With so many choices on television, there's only one choice to make. Introducing TV Guide Interactive, your power tool for television. With TV Guide Interactive, you're in control. You have more choices than ever before. That's why you need TV Guide Interactive to help you make the most of your television viewing time. It's the single source millions of people turn to every day to find movies, sports, news and information, everything on TV. And now TV Guide Interactive puts these choices at your fingertips. With just the touch of a button on your remote control, you'll get the most out of your television viewing. In the next few minutes, we'll show you all the easy-to-use features of the TV Guide Interactive Program Guide. Sort through program listings the way you want to see them, by time or by channel. Search by category, get detailed program information, set reminders and parental control locks, order pay-per-view, and more. Now, let's take a look at how these features make television viewing fun and easy. First, turn on your television. Your remote control might look a little different than the one you see here, but don't worry, they all work just about the same. With a help button to guide you through, an exit button to return you back to watching TV, and a last button to take you to the last channel or screen you were watching. Changing channels is as easy as pressing the channel button either up or down. And just like any remote, you can do it anytime. As you change channels, the flip bar appears, showing you the channel you're on, the name of the current program, and the start and finish times. While you're flipping through your channel options, you have a number of useful features at your fingertips. For example, if you see a program you're interested in watching, press Info on your remote control. You'll see this program information screen that gives you a complete description of that program. From here, select Watch to tune to the program, choose Lock to prevent viewing of the program, or select Last and the guide takes you back to the previous screen. You'll also notice the colorful promotion box on the flip bar. Promotion boxes are available throughout the guide to give you access to detailed information about current programs and services. We'll show you more ways to access that information as we review all the features of TV Guide Interactive. Let's take a more in-depth look at the features of TV Guide Interactive. Press the Menu button on your remote. The main menu is your gateway to all the popular and easy-to-use features of TV Guide Interactive. As you move around the guide, yellow highlights your selection. Whatever option you select will have a bright yellow highlight. That way, you'll always know exactly where you are in the guide. You can see program listings any way you want with TV Guide Interactive. Let's take a look at the left column first, Program Listings. Highlight the By Time bar on the menu using the arrow buttons and then press OK to highlight your choice. There you go. By Time will show you all the available programming choices starting with the current half hour. If you find something you like, just press OK to tune in. The flip bar appears on screen for a few seconds confirming your selection. To go back to By Time, press the Guide button. To see what's on later from listings by time, press the right arrow button on your remote. When you find a show you're interested in, press OK for detailed information. Want to set a reminder so you don't miss this program? It's easy. Select Remind, then choose Yes. A check mark next to the program will indicate that you have a reminder for that show. 
You can also find something to watch by highlighting the By Channel bar on the menu screen. Now you can see everything that's coming up on any channel. To see what's on other channels, just press either the left or right arrow buttons on your remote. You'll see a complete list of programs by channel. It's amazing, and best of all, you're in control. On the main menu screen, you can also see the entire lineup of movies, sports, and children's programming just by highlighting one of these three bars on the menu and pressing OK. There are so many choices, and now you can easily view program listings for categories that interest you most. And even better, you can get detailed information about your programming choices. For instance, pick any program in the current time. Press the Info button on your remote for a brief description of the program. If you're looking at listings outside the current half hour, pressing the OK button brings you to the program information screen where you can set a reminder for the program, see other times it's on, and order it if it's a pay-per-view selection. TV Guide Interactive gives you descriptions for a full 24 hours of all types of shows. Sitcoms, talk shows, news shows, and more. Get up to four days of program title listings throughout the guide and order special pay-per-view events up to 14 days in advance. TV Guide Interactive helps you plan your television viewing. Remember, press exit on your remote at any time to go back to watching television. The last choice in the program listings column is search. If you only know the name of a program, but not the time it's showing or the channel it's on, search will help you find it. Use the arrow buttons to spell the first few letters of the program's name. In just a few seconds, the listings will display exactly what you're looking for. Want to order something on pay-per-view? It's easy with TV Guide Interactive. You can view the pay-per-view listings by highlighting pay-per-view time, pay-per-view title, or pay-per-view events in the middle column on your menu screen. To order on screen, highlight the show you want to watch, then press OK on your remote. Next, choose the start time you want. Highlight Yes, then press OK. That's it. With TV Guide Interactive, you can order any pay-per-view program without even picking up the phone. And it'll automatically set a reminder so you won't forget. To cancel a pay-per-view order before the program begins, find the program in the listings. You'll notice it by this check mark that indicates this program has been ordered. Press OK, then select the start time of the program you ordered. A box will appear asking you if you'd like to cancel. Highlight Yes and press OK. It's easy. And remember, even if you don't cancel the order on screen, you won't be billed for any pay-per-view programs you don't tune to. If your cable operator uses phone ordering, you'll see a screen like this. When you make your pay-per-view selection, just call the number on your screen to order. TV Guide Interactive also gives you a quick way to look at all the premium channels offered by your cable operator. Highlight the premium bar and press OK for a complete listing. In the mood for a little music? Your digital cable service has commercial free music for every mood and TV Guide Interactive can help you find it. On your menu screen, highlight the music option and press OK. Now you can choose between all different types of music, country, jazz, rock. Just pick your favorite by highlighting and pressing OK on your remote. The flip bar on your screen displays the name of the current song. Press the Info button on your remote to find out even more about the current song. See information about the previous song you listened to by selecting the last bar. Even set up your favorite music channel so you can easily tune to them next time. The music feature will be a big hit with all of the music fans in your house. On the main menu screen, the viewer services column gives you even more choices. Access your local weather and three-day forecast anytime you want. Select the weather option from the main menu for your local weather conditions at a glance. No other weather source is this quick and easy. The Message Center lets you receive messages from your cable operator or from TV Guide Interactive. An envelope on screen and a red light on your cable box lets you know you have a new message. To read the message, highlight Messages and press OK. 
TV Guide Interactive's parental control feature is a parent's best friend. Now you can decide what's acceptable for your kids to watch. Just highlight parents and press OK. Use your secret four digit code to enter the parental control menu. If this is your first time to access the parental control feature, you can enter a four digit code right here. Confirm the code by entering again when prompted. With the parental control feature, you can restrict viewing of specific program titles, movie or TV ratings, even lock entire channels. For example, use the arrow buttons to go to movie rating. Use the left or right arrow buttons to find the rating you wish to restrict and press lock on your remote. A padlock will appear indicating that movie rating is now restricted. You can lock a program title from any of the listing menus or any time while watching TV. Just press the lock button on your remote, enter your four-digit parental control code, press lock again to restrict viewing by title, rating, or channel. A padlock will appear next to the listing indicating it is now restricted. From the parental control menu, you can also remove locks. Use the arrow buttons until you see the locked title, rating, or channel you wish to unlock. Press lock and the padlock disappears. You may want to temporarily open all the locks to make it easy to tune to the shows you want after the kids have gone to bed. Arrow down to highlight master locks on the parental control screen. Press the right arrow to change the option to yes. Choose yes again to temporarily bypass all locks. You'll see an open padlock in the program listings to indicate locks are temporarily open. To turn the locks back on, press the lock button when you have a program highlighted. Confirm you want to reset the lock here and enter your parental control code when prompted. Bypass locks can also be reset by turning off your cable box. The parental control feature also lets you hide all adult titles from being displayed on screen. Use the left arrow button to hide adult titles. TV Guide Interactive makes it easy for you to teach responsible viewing and control what programs can be seen in your home. You're watching Sleep Core. Sleep tight. Receiving system. This video has been made to give you an overview of the installation and operation of your new system. We'll cover the basics of connecting your receiver, finding the satellite and best location for the dish antenna, assembling the dish antenna and installing the mast, grounding and routing cable, connecting and aiming the dish, activating programming, wiring your system, and fundamental operations. We'll also provide a section on how to install a second dish system for Echo Star 3 and 4 satellites. That will be covered later on. By carefully following the directions provided in this video, along with the detailed instructions in your installation guide, you'll see that connecting to the dish receiving system isn't really all that difficult. Make sure that you have the necessary tools and skills to handle construction tasks, such as drilling through your walls, Plus, it helps to have some familiarity with home video and electronics. To begin, take a few minutes to compare the parts that have been included with your dish system hardware and installation kit to the lists located in the installation kit guide. Make sure that you keep the guide handy for quick reference and detailed instructions. Remember, it pays off to read each step first. This will make sure you avoid injury to yourself and damage to your home and equipment. Pay attention to items with these warnings and attention symbols. Consult local building and electrical codes and safety procedures. And take care to avoid overhead power lines, lights, and power circuits. There are two points especially important to understand before you begin. First, the installation is permanent, so you must be sure of your dish antenna and receiver locations before you begin. And second, it will be critical to mount the mast of the dish antenna rock solid and perfectly vertical. 
So, now you think you've got everything together and you're ready to begin? You'll still need to find information to aim your dish antenna at the satellite, so you must first temporarily connect the receiver to your TV. Permanent hookup will be covered later. A short piece of RG59 coaxial cable should be included for your connection from TV set out on the receiver to RF or antenna in on your TV. Set the channel 3, 4 TV output switch to the channel not used by a broadcast station in your area. Some receiver models don't have a channel 3, 4 TV output switch on the back panel. For these receivers, the default TV output is channel 3. Use channel 3 to start your installation process and refer to the user and installation guide that came with your receiver to change the TV output channel after you've completed the installation. If your receiver and remote control are UHF, you'll need to attach the short UHF antenna to the receiver. This feature allows you to control the receiver from any room in your house at a maximum of 150 feet from the receiver. Turn on the TV to the channel you've selected and turn on the receiver. Make sure the remote control is in the satellite mode. New receiver installations will automatically power up in the point dish and signal strength screen. Now, using the number keypad, enter your zip code. The receiver will give you the azimuth or east-west direction and the elevation or up-down direction at which you'll find the satellite from your location. This is all based on the simple information obtained just from your zip code. The first two DISH network satellites are in an orbit 22,300 miles above the Earth, located directly over the equator at 119 degrees west and due south of Reno, Nevada. As the Earth rotates, the satellite orbits at a speed that keeps it in a fixed position in relation to the Earth's surface, so it appears stationary in the sky. That means that no matter where you are in the continental U.S., the satellite will be found in the southern sky. Finding the exact location of the satellite for your area is defined by the azimuth and elevation numbers given to you when you enter your zip code via your remote. If you've entered your zip code and get question marks, try entering the zip code of a major city near you. It's a precise east to west position or azimuth and up down position or elevation depending on your specific location. For example, if you're east of Reno, the satellite is to the southwest. If you're west of Reno, then it is to the southeast. If you're in the northern part of the country, the satellite will be in the lower part of the sky, which also means that if you live in the southern part of the U.S., it will be higher. To find the azimuth, or east-west direction, Hold the compass that has been included in your installation kit level. The needle will point north. Turn the compass so that the end lines up with the needle. Due south is 180 degrees, east is 90 degrees, west is 270 degrees. You may want to place a stick pointing in the correct direction. To find the satellite's elevation, identify the straight out level as zero degrees and straight up vertical is 90 degrees. For our example, 42 degrees is about halfway up. If your elevation is correct, you will easily find the satellite. Now you're almost ready to start setting up the antenna. First, you need to find a sturdy location that gives an unobstructed line of sight to the satellite. Keep in mind that foliage, trees, overhangs, and other buildings will obstruct the signal. During fall and winter months, it may look like you have a clear signal path, but spring and summer growth will cause obstruction. You should also try to find a place with reasonable access so that you can reach it in case the signal is interrupted by snow, so that it can easily be swept off. And since you only know in general where the satellite is, you'll want a spot that allows room to refine your aim both east-west and up-down. You can mount the dish antenna to any firm, solid surface, such as the side of your house, your roof or chimney. With wood siding, you should mount it in a stud. You can also install it on a pole. Avoid putting it where it can be bumped or blocked. Don't mount it to mortar between bricks or cinder blocks. Don't mount it to stucco, imitation masonry, or particle board. 
unless it can be anchored to a stud. Never mount it to vinyl or aluminum siding, even if a stud is underneath, because it may deform or break the siding. And don't mount it directly, above or downwind of a chimney, furnace vent, or near power lines. The dish antenna should be mounted as close to the receiver as possible. They should be no more than 100 feet apart. The coax cable provided with the installation kit will let you run 75 feet between the dish antenna and the grounding block or switch, and another 25 feet from that point to the receiver inside the house. If you must cut your cable to a custom length for your installation, be sure to use the proper tools for putting connectors on the cable. Weatherproof RG6 connectors should be used. Also, use only an RG6 cable, cutter, stripper, and hex crimping tool to ensure a problem-free connection. Follow all directions that come with the tools and materials. If the connectors are not properly attached to the cables, you may encounter problems with maintaining adequate signal strength and weather-related signal deterioration. Be aware that the limited warranty does not cover faulty connectors. Be sure to plan your cable run as to where it will enter the house and where the grounding block and the receiver will be. It will also help simplify the installation if the receiver is near an outside wall and within 25 feet of a phone jack. It's time to mount the mast. The single most important factor in mounting the foot and the mast is that it must be on an absolutely stable surface and completely vertical. To mount the foot, first mark and drill a hole for the top center bolt, making sure you go into the stud in the wall. Screw the foot into place using a lag bolt. If you're mounting the foot vertically, square it up. Using a level, take two different position readings to make sure the mast is perfectly vertical. If the mast is not vertical, when you go to pan the dish antenna east and west, its elevation will change and you won't be able to find the satellite. When the foot is square and the mast vertical, mark the other mounting holes, remove the foot, and drill the remaining holes. Remount the foot to the location on your house and tighten it down. For mounting to other surfaces, the basic approach remains the same. However, each surface requires special considerations and hardware. Please refer to your installation guide. While you're safely on the ground, assemble the satellite dish, the mounting bracket, and LNBF support arm. If you need information on this procedure, refer to your installation guide. Set the elevation according to the scale on the dish support arm by tilting the dish antenna. The mark should align with the elevation you found when entering your zip code in the point dish screen. Now you're ready to thread the cable through the dish support arm and put it on the mast. First, thread the coax cable through the mast following the diagram in the installation guide. Thread the cable through the support arm following the same diagram. Make sure that you don't kink it or pinch it. You should end up with about two inches of cable at the end of the arm. When the cable is threaded and the arm is on the mast, loosely secure it with the mast clamp bolt.